Hi, and good morning and welcome. So I want to get this started really quickly because I was listening to something and I thought, well, 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 well we need to do that. We need to stop. We need to, people need to know this. Um, and rather than me explaining, I'm going to play you and I'll put the links when I upload this. I will put the links firstly to the website for the lady that this originates from. Secondly, to the video, the person that's uploaded the video in the comments below. I am not an affiliate, um, but I resonate with the message. And I think the teachings that are coming through are coming through and being released now, kind of, even though these are things that were happening and referring to stuff for people that needed it prior to stuff happening. So back in 20. Um, 2000 sorry I'm going back 20 25 years um, but what I do see happening now is the ascension itself that we have access to this information um, for some of us that are pulling in this high frequency it's really good to know how to clear the systems how to connect now my guidance has been coming through and telling me this for the last two years although I didn't know what um, it was specifically called. This lady gives a name to the stuff I've been doing and being told from my own guidance. I'm shown images with colors and stuff and not the detailed, the science of what it is that I'm doing, but the why has been very, very clear lately that your body, if everything ran through you really quickly, you would not be able, you couldn't handle it because it's only run on the free, um, I can't even remember what they're called, but these free, kind of energy levels access for thousands of years but our body is made to do this so we don't need to be a, a fearful of this but what is happening and what happens when we have these high frequency um, downloads for those that are receiving or when we the collective is is having that and that's rippling through and we're all we're all open to receiving all of this these shifts are physical they're very physical now um, and that's stepped up now, and that's not going to change. If anything, it's going to get quicker. So I feel this is why I'm being guided to share this information and why I'm being shown this information also for personal reasons, because then I feel it. I'm like, oh, I can feel that. So I can process through the fog. So the fog happens because the crap information in our body we don't need, uh, in our minds that we don't need, all of the riff, those stories, those thought forms, can go, they're, they're irrelevant, and all if, if anything, they are um, keeping us stuck. Now, things have been lifted energetically, collectively, so although all those modalities people are working through for years because that's how you, the only way you could get rid of them, now you don't need to. You don't need to do all of that. I'm sorry if that upsets people, you don't. Um, but it helps with your own understanding and your own journey, and it's, and also don't stop doing what you're doing, do what works for you. That, as a little caveat um but allowing us to run through high currents to allow the energy and that will work on what referred to as a junk dna it's not junk at all um but so we can open up to all of these um different aspects now this is important why because if you're feeling any distortion in the body the reason being is because it's trying to do it naturally. You are naturally, your inner being is trying to open you up to that. You'll get guidance with that, um, but it gets stuck. It gets stuck possibly from blocks, from shields, from things, from past karmic energy shifts within the fields in the now moment. And when I'm referring to that, I'm talking about when people say past lives, past lives are all simultaneously happening. Um, they are a frequency that you tune into by resonance of uh, what you need to know. It's a bit like puzzle key um, of your soul and it's going, right, well, you need to know about this. So we're going to like activate that elbow um, because that relates to that life that's happening right back then. And then you can see if you do that work, you can clear it. The reason you can clear it is because it's happening now, past, present, future now is your point of power for shifting always so this relates to the clearing of energy works but also the clearing of our paths our thought form think of it on a less esoteric um it is very scientific though i have to say even if science does not even back then they certainly didn't have but um i'd say now more than ever that the 
probably have the science that would back up what is being talked about um, within the fields. And, and I am a bit of a science geek looking for that information because I, I feel like, well, sources told me this, I know it's possible, like, come on, hurry up. Let's get some stuff to show the other people that the ones that need to see the physical. <laughs> so, yeah, and that does happen. It's a bit like knowing that the celery sorts in the um, the cluster sorts in celery that medical medium refers to from Spirit of Compassion. I know it works. I've just said from my own guidance that yes, this is going to help. Um, but science doesn't even know it exists, and in do they're not even looking for it. <laughs> so, they don't want to know perhaps because that would mean we wouldn't need a lot of other stuff <laughs> that brings in a lot of money anyway that's another story and that's a personal thing my own personal perception so well let's let's listen to this I'm gonna play this in the background I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for this I will as I say cite where I put this from um and I'll put this up this video if you're seeing this on YouTube um I've probably put it unlisted I don't know if I'm gonna <laughs> We'll we see, um, because I do feel this is important for people to know, and I don't want to be cloistering information. I think this is the trouble. Everyone's going, oh, you should do things. and But I, everything I do, don't get paid for anything. Um, not that I don't feel I'm worthy, because I do feel I'm very worthy. Abundance comes through other means, but I feel that there's just this freebie thing that I would my own blocks. So I need it as much as you. And, and as, I, as like Billy Cooper says, not him that does it. It's sort of a compassion. It's not me that shares this stuff. It's not me. It's the guidance that comes through from my higher self. That's you as much as it is me. It's from all. So anyway, um, I'll go back a little bit because I think it's important uh, in relation to, and bear in mind, this was 25 years ago, um, but I still think it's relevant now for those that are still waking up and going through the ascension symptoms as for what's happening in your body to kind of have a little bit of that. And understanding um, so that when we do our meditations and I adapt or I, I, the, through the guidance of what I'm being told to do to kind of update stuff I still think that's very relevant anyway um, and that doesn't need updating but I feel there's other stuff that we have access to now that we don't necessarily need to do everything but some people will because it's just going through a process for them it's a allows you to prepare and your guidance your soul your body i.e my body may be ready for uh to run that frequency because i've been working for four years to get my body to that state so it's it's harder on the body if you suddenly go i'm going to do that your body will only give you or your soul will only allow you to run whatever you're ready for and that's why i've had to wait to get into a certain thing and now my why I'm having to do other deeper level stuff and I'm not saying you have to do this this may not be relevant but it is certainly easier on us if you you know how to I feel is important to know anyway so this is Ashalana Dean um, and this video is the Lemurian and Atlantean logistics disc one and the disc she's referring to or in references is like the discs um, for our to do with our fields and our templates and when she references these different places they're energetical places so hopefully that background will help which one hurts because you'll start to find right she's the talking pain about massaging and dyadic, right? Works to go together. um let me just quickly explain so we have the meridian lines which is like the fields that the acupuncture works on we work with in Chagong. then you have the oh gosh i can't remember the name of it these other ones that go run uh, on a deeper level, and I will look up the name. Um, it's gone from my head straight away. And then you have the little vortice points to work through. Um, she mentions about cranial, um, and I know that there's modalities out there now. So obviously this is a long time since modalities have been kind of based on her work without realizing it. And um, cranial sacrum uh, works on those, or they've come up, come to the same conclusion from different sources i'm not saying that they didn't but I, it, it's it it really fits anyway so the, it's these little voices that she's saying about massaging so like what we do when we massage which gone so this is based on ancient art which um so whenever massaging so if you get an egg you naturally do this you'd like oh i see me you want to rub that arm you want to rub that legs and um, they run vertically down the body for um the hang on and at antidotal and 
antidotal lines. I'm probably saying that wrong. So it's, it's the, yeah, so you got to run through and when you massage these lines. So when we run through, so when I say about pressing and releases, for example, there's this one which is good to do each day. So three fingers and then massage and massage with the breath in, press and release is one of these points. And then you run up and down, you run down the arms and get it to flow, which is why we slap down and up. And it's, it's that circulation. Okay, so just to give you a little bit of that. Like we do have these levels of our anatomy. And it's just that we've been taught to not look there. We've not been taught anything about them. So you don't know that they're there. You get pain and we, we get used to numbing our nervous system, literally shutting parts of it down because we don't feel how bad in. things really feel. And when you start to let energy run, you start to really feel what you've been blocking. Right. Use the tools really of running the vertical massages, just wide simple, open. You know, nice firm vertical massages, or actually tunnel lines, little circular point massages from the dyadic vortices. These are things that will become survival skills for you as we move into the time period of 2001 into 2017. If the place goes into full shift, this is something we never talked about. Anybody that knows our work, we didn't start out as one of those doom and gloom people, oh, it's going to be bullshit. No, we didn't start out. We avoided that, just so you know. Um, back then, 20 years ago, they were working with the grids, so the grid workers were working to stop. So that didn't happen, which had happened prior in prehistory in one of the cataclysms. And there's there's geographical evidence actually, and you, there's people that talk about this. Um, so I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna pause this and skip bit, bits, but I thought it was important for you to know about that bit. Point five strength. I know it's serious. This is information that was protected and held secret. This because secret. there's so many humans on the planet right yeah, now that still. can use it. It's still not safe to bring it here. They wouldn't be releasing this if they didn't need to know now. The purpose of DNA activation is for you is if it gets bad, you need to have a minimum of a 4.5 strand DNA activation level to be able to go through a portal without spontaneous combustion happening to your body. This is part of the reason why they have stressed helping people to activate more quickly and comfortably and naturally, but why it's important to do it. Evacuations are not what we're focused on. It's still plan A. Let's fix things here. And the advantage of DNA activation is you get yourself back. You get your memory back. You find, you remember who you were, why you came here. You get your higher consciousness back. Which um, we've been experiencing within esoteric circles. You talk about there, the, 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 um, the TS to step those brilliant example. I remember he is a neuron of our planet, sure. And there are many other neurons. Um, people that are waking up, they have these memories from the multidimensional aspect. And as I've spoken before, I think more and more children are born with being able to be ready to be multidimensional. And unfortunately, modern medicine sees them as um, needing to be fixed, but they're not at all. Um, that has shifted. We're working through that. And that's a whole other video. Um, now, as we're trying to make ourselves more comfortable in the process. There's one other thing we can do. We're talking about preparing the physical body. We have the running the axiotonal line massage. We have the dyadic massage. There are two points that we can massage also that will create a lot of help for the main vertical current to bring more energy in. It's a two point massage. That's and we're gonna do the massage and she talks about it, but um, what, she's referring to is what we talk about in class when i say when we bring um that that I, I i call it silver and gold light because i'm bringing in the two and the gold i was definitely so the silver was done sort of 20 years ago and the gold was the one that was seemed more relevant the silver was kind of then brought in once the gold was set with me personally when i was um, being shown what to do so i was saying in our meditations in our movement practice during the Shigong and as I was expressing these light languages, it was working with, now I understand the science behind it, the, um, these different euphoric grid levels and it goes right up to the beginning of creation of light and sound and then they express through light and sound within us. So when we're expressing sound, we are light and sound by the way, um, we are 
kind of flowing that through. And if as we start to open up to that and allow that and allow it to resonate within us, it kind of grows. We're allowed. It's like a think of it like a channel. If you uh, if and you running through, but it's like this tunnel. And it needs to kind of expand. We think of it like the birthing canal of like the birthing of this new earth, if you like, for a metaphor. But as it's expanding, it can run more and it stretches. It stretches to actually how it can be. However, if you just went, it would it would break. It, it that's the same sort of thing. And this light tunnel around you of the light that you're running through the cells, your soul will dictate what you can and cannot do. So I'm being guided to show, I'm told, slowly bits for those that follow me, um, what we've already worked through and as we expand it. And what's brilliant now is this, where they had loads of blocks, where they had, and I'm going to put my head up feel, where they would be like, oh, headache, um, the bones and the bone structure, teeth. Um, she was saying earlier on that, that actually even, and I, big thing for me I've been looking at being my vegan diet being told about this and I'll go in separate video again to do with the teeth um and the research I've done because of the teeth don't things show up in our life because it's something we need to know I needed to know about that but also teeth first break when highlights coming through and the body's physically not ready um, not break as such but that that's where it's going to show up in the teeth and both you're going to feel it you're going to feel achy um so when we have these portals and when i say about portals are not astrology there's a confusion because i remember someone saying once oh like i'm an she's an astrologer going well but the, oh this like portal thing it's nothing to do with astrology no but they tend to happen during astronomical alignments because there there's like a mathematics it's it's like a computer system the the whole universe itself you think of it in terms of computer it gives you a it makes it easier to understand, certainly for me. Um, I need kind of basic, simplistic understanding. Put it like, well, if you're a, if you're the basic, tell, telling it to a child, because literally we are in terms of understanding some of this stuff. And I think it needs to be broken down to simplify it. So that's just it's a lesson train of thought. So that's why we can't run this high current all of a sudden you can't just go right that's it that's the misconception you can be in alignment to the energy of and resonance as it comes starting to unpick and your understanding starts to resonate with certain um energies quote unquote being in your vibe being in alignment um however when we're talking about doing this physical stuff, and this is the stuff that the masters did, this is the stuff where their energy of their physical cells will translucinate and they uh, can be seen in four different places because they're not at the same energy, running the same energy. They can then go through certain portals, as we say. Um, they are able to materialize, dematerialize. This is stuff that even science would be like, oh my God, that's science fiction, that's nuts the masters these legends we hear of of these masters in these ages they knew how they they got to this stage that's why they could do this there's a science to it as why and we will all be able to do that again we were all capable of doing that because we come from that we're a blend of that um so as we move forward and i know i'm pushing the boundaries and we're going way out there so with expanding the mind but I'm seeing and hearing and resonating and knowing, yes, there's truth to this. This is the Christic template. This is what the Christed ones, i.e. people that come to the earth, brought this message like um, uh, Joshua or referred to as Jesus. Um, other ancient or ascended masters, they're ascended masters because they went through this process. They knew how to do this. Um, now, it may be that we will be able to get to a certain stage where we could do those things. I'm not saying that's going to happen overnight because it wouldn't be right for our body, but we are beginning the process where we go back to a humanity that will be all able to do that. That may take a hundred odd years, but as each activate, it's speeding up. And that's why they say like, what? The technology of our body is going to expand organically and allow that. The 
understanding the communication, the frequency and the energy of everything is going to affect that. Now, there's, that's why you see these things about two paths is splitting, because we now are evolving out of a, to a different species because we, we will step into that. So I, I'm aware that that sounds nuts, believe me. But if you want to just think of it as like, well, I'm going to be doing this stuff to help the physical healing of my body, then great. But as you go up the next levels and you start to advance through to the more immediate intermediate, you'll start to see the physical effects and that as a healer, which most of the people that view me, I'm aware are healers themselves. They do this stuff themselves. They have their own modalities that they can work into. They can take the information that they've got, which is all these pieces for all these different puddles, all those puzzles, all those modalities will fit into the science of what this woman is sharing. Um, and then there's this other stuff that underlies. So that's one story. And then there's the earth itself, which is kind of we are along for the ride because she's the one that's doing this. Um, the planet itself is expanding back up to where it was. It was it meant to be. And we just took a kind of diverted joint that journey, um, the long road, if you like. But through time and space, it's an instantaneous thing. Um, there's also some stuff that people are saying haven't quite married up with time and space. Um, and that's to do possibly with what, what they were saying. Not everything was fixed. There were certain things. So it, it, it's good to be um, not putting all your eggs in one basket, if you like. Although energetically, I feel we, we, we were there. My guidance from the Black Cat Guardian Order are sort of pulling me through on a thread. I see this gold thread, which leads back up that gold and that silver intertwining to walk that to be guided to that because that's what i've chosen as a soul and to mission is to demonstrate that so from someone that's very physical it's like all right my teeth are like this oh god i wouldn't be able to be i'm not doing this but to walk and slowly oh i can do it you can do it that's the whole thing if you can see the transformation on me over the years as I go through my process and go with me to come along for the ride is what I'm saying. If they're going, right, okay, we can do this. We're all on that resonance. We're all wanting to do the same. Um, it's not me though. That's, that's, it's not about me. It's about all of us because we're all on that journey anyway, the whole planet. Anyway, I'm too much talking. Let's get back to... And then I need to break the light. <laughs> No sack of seals. One is at the tail arm, and the yeah. other is in the pining of black. Which is your bubble point? The the We've been doing this. Been doing this. So. You also <laughs> network sign that we had in the neck up together. When we beat the drum. Access the main energy circuits that run into the pining of black spot. It's excellent. Sure. And you can simply push the measure for a while. So I think it's, I just wanted her to explain it. And the other thing that we do, like, so the base of the spine, so you just massaging the base of the spine. I realized <laughs> it sounds a bit weird, but I kept getting a spot there and I kept massaging at this point. And then I realized why, because naturally I'd been doing this one, they've been like, and naturally I'd been doing this one, but because I'm purging all around that area and working on that area, that's why the spot come up. And I was massaging there naturally. And thought, oh, it's like I don't my body had tricked me into doing what I needed to do. Um, the other thing that I've naturally been doing, and we do every day in our daily routine, and this is why we do it, is I get you to take your thumbs, and you can do this with me now. As I said, we're going to do these massages. So in the center of your thumb, also links to the pinion. 
gland. So you press and release and you massage. So this is activating right down into the feet. The other thing you can do is the bottom, the soles of the feet, is to making sure they're nice and open. This is to do with the different fit, like the electric. It's not actually magnetic field anymore. This is why the the shift of like scientists go like, oh, because it's all changing, isn't it, on the earth? It's changing because it's meant to change because that's it was never meant to be like that. Now it's going to the way it's meant to be. We need to be aligned to the way it's meant to be. So all the chakra systems from the ancient arts, they were set on that. So they should actually start to work in a different way. We'll be able to activate all 15 layers, not just the seven that most people know. Um, so that's why I realized I was going, I was like, well, I don't know, why did I pick this? I liked the Qigong because the energy and it felt right. And, and then when I first started training, I realized there was so much to learn. There was a reason because it gives me a basic understanding of what I needed to know of what I was being shown to do in other ways. And it allows us to open and, and practice with energy and start to have an understanding. The same with the Reiki. And when you merge all the modalities, you start to realize that there, there's similarities in whether they're called different names. So let's just start by putting your hand on your heart. So this is a little practice. All of that talk was to understand why we're doing what we're doing. So closing the eyes. Moving in through the nose. Moving out. into a cleansing breath that stop and come to the head. Bubble eye point between and yes, massage. And as you do so, I want you to visualize just as we do daily. So always, always, whenever you do any meditation, I say, oh, hand on heart. First thing I do is I breathe. Second thing I do is I visualize that star going down, connecting and expanding. So it's this, we're stretching slowly to allow that energy to flow through us basically preparing 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 implementations in energy so that the body in implementations on the physical is able to handle more and less achy when that happens so you don't then get tired you don't feel like me <laughs> yesterday they said to me you're not ready it's one of the reasons i didn't do the meditation live um through the eclipse because i needed to meditate myself and i um, I'll talk about it separately, but I literally felt like a dead weight. I felt the high frequency coming in me and I felt how leaden my body, the, the, the density shift between where my physical body is and where the high energy I was feeling and connecting to was. And I couldn't barely move because I needed to just be and allow and process. So today I feel like completely in a lovely salt bath and say so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so everything I need to do I've got like whoa come on then and, and charge to do it but yeah so heart breathing visualize light expanding around you close, close your eyes and do this I've already done it and feel it whenever I um, just touch my heart feeling the heart coherence it helps think about the field of the heart and mind coherence that gland connected with this gland, but we're connecting full body, full body awareness. Take the hands up and massage the top of the head. And as you do so, I want you to feel about like, I, I, the visual I get is a flower opening like a bud and it's opening up. So you've got this opening, allowing, and then the bottom of that bud of the flower, it goes into the body it's actually the wheel of those that wheel of energy what we call the separate chakra this is where it's connected on the physical and massaging it breathing in breathing out take the hands run your fingers through the dragon as they say round down around the hips and down to the back and then you're happy you can't really see them hands sort of like this touching and then slide down 
to the bottom of your back and gently massage right at the bottom of your back spine, the little towel part. Breathe in and feel and visualize roots coming down from there, going down into the ground, into and reaching down to crystals. Now you are the closest that your body is to a crystal. If you've got a quartz crystal, I've got um, Sally and I here. I do have them. It's nice, it's got lots of quartz. Um, crystal that can help you pocket near where you're sitting because it'll help you anchor that light and magnify. And then bring your hands. And just breathe and feel. Now, you might not be able to feel anything. Don't worry if you can't. You might feel like a, a tingling up the spine, especially if you're used to feeling your Kundalini energy. Just the current, that movement is the current. It's the oscillation. It's that feeling, that tingling that we get. That's the start of it. Start the awareness of it. It runs all the way through your body. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel your heart now doing the same, expanding. This is moving away from the stuff. This is what I'm being shown to do with this, where we are, the heart expanding so like when we do our chi ball at the heart we do the chi ball here but for purpose of pulsing it's like stretching our muscles our vibrant muscles the same when we do our figure of eight that figure of eight you can feel that figure of eight now feel it going and the point in the center is the heart point in the center is the forehead the pituitary gland the point at the bottom is like the lower dentien, it's the, the sacral. Feeling. So you've got essentially three flowers. And then diagonally. And behind and in front. So it's helping this vortex of light around. It's picking up, it's opening. Open and receptive to the highest aspect of you. It goes right up to the point of creation. If you want to call it something else, that's down to you. Source. Don't give your power away. You are still the one that's part of that. It's responsible. I must your excess and shake it, shake the feet, tap the feet. And leave it at that. I don't want to go any deeper or any more. You can do that. You can practice that. You can do that over and over again. Um, so thank you for this short little thing that come through. And I will see you for our daily practice. We will be working through this for the moment. We're going to be working through this. We're going to be bringing this in. We're going to be adding this in. I'm going to slowly but surely start adding these little things so you can start on that expansion yourself. Um, to help with what essentially we call ascension symptoms nowadays. Um, but it's just allowing to run yourself to run more frequency, to expand and feel more downloads, um, just listening to your body. You can do it yourself. So when you feel that pain, we naturally do do it. I mean, you get that like, oh, I need to stretch. So like the, with the neck pain, you know that you got, my members certainly do, know that you got and you want to lean. And we do this first thing in the morning as part of the AM practice and the stretch. And down, 
and looking and with the breath, which is key. The breath is one of the keys for accessing this because we breathe from a different. That's why we only breathe through the nose, mouth is breathing. That's why it contradicts some of the breath work techniques. Eating and releasing, if you're doing some top, uh, releasing of toxins. Anyway, blessings in your day. Thank you. Let me know if you do do this what actually what you feel what comes up for you in the comments below have you come across this before um whether it helps with your ascension symptoms it certainly helped mine today the moment they're like this is why because you need to be massaging here as well and um, to allow that to ground to anchor in your spy frequency so thank you for your time love and blessings